settle in as we rewind the week with the latest edition of Monday Backspin from PGATour.com. Hey guys, I'm Amanda Balionis, and thanks for joining me for the wrap-up of the Fries.com Open in San Martin, California. Now, the suspense had been building for weeks prior to this event because Tiger Woods committed to the Fall Series Tournament, but that was nothing compared to the suspense that happened in the last six holes of the event. And no, those holes were not in regulation. Woods began the week with a practice round at the Carnival Golf Club and was in high spirits, appearing relaxed and healthy. Things took a turn for the worse in round one, though, when he carded a two over 73. The main concern, his putter. That's probably one of the worst putting rounds I've ever had. So I, can't, I can't put the ball any worse than I did today. Round two looked much better as Woods snapped his streak of six rounds of par or worse after turning in a three under 68, including six birdies to comfortably make the cut at one under par. You know, sometimes um, I, I have these lulls out there where I, I don't quite feel comfortable, and right. eh, it, I just got to battle through it. And I kind of had a, a period there on what one and two um, right. at the turn, 10 and 11 for me. Um, but hey, I, I battled through and got it back. Rounds three and four looked very similar to the second round with a mixed bag of birdies and bogeys with an identical outcome of three under 68 for his final two rounds to finish at seven under overall. Woods did confirm after his round on Sunday that he would not be playing in any more PGA Tour events until the President's Cup, but did say that he and Freddie Couples have been texting all week long. So while Woods is trying to get his game back, a lot of players in the field are trying to break into the top 125 on the money list to secure their cards for the 2012 season. One of those players is trying to become the first guy since Ryan Moore did it back in 2005 to skip Q School and go directly to the tour. Bud Colley, who made his pro debut at the U.S. Open earlier this year, was a guy that a lot of fans enjoyed watching, partly because it was a family affair this week. It is no stretch to say that Bud's father, Bill, is his son's biggest fan as he reacted passionately to every high and low his son was going through on the course. Colley, who held a share of the lead briefly in the final round, finished at 15 under par, good enough for solo third, and maybe more importantly, he played his way into the McGladry Classic this week, taking one step closer to playing his way onto the PGA Tour next year. Now at the top of the leaderboard, there was an unprecedented amount of drama as Briny Baird holed out on the 17th for Eagle and to take a share of the lead, forcing leader Bryce Mulder to birdie the 18th, sending the two winless veterans into a playoff with a lot on the line. This was the third playoff in Fries.com history, the 17th on tour this season, marking a record for the PGA Tour. And then another record was set for the longest playoff in the 2011 season as Baird and Mulder went head-to-head, -head, shot for shot, for six straight holes, bouncing in between the 17th and 18th for so long that there was a fear that daylight would run out in California before a winner could be crowned. In the end, it was Bryce Mulder, the Georgia Tech standout, that won in his 138th start on the PGA Tour. It was almost fitting that the two veterans that had waited so long to claim their first victories would take a tournament to its limits. And just a quick note, in case you were curious, the longest playoff ever recorded in PGA Tour history was all the way back in 1949 at the Motor City Open. It was an 11-hole playoff. But for some more interesting facts about the Fries.com Open, let's toss it out to Fred Albers of the PGA Tour Network. Oh, Amanda, what a week we have enjoyed at the Cordoval Golf Club just south of San Jose. I'm going to remember, first of all, the weather, because it seems like we went through every known climate zone in the United States. We had a lot of rain on Thursday. We had a large fog delay on Friday, and then we had absolutely beautiful California weather on the weekend. I'm also going to remember these galleries and how they turned out five times as many tickets sold this year as opposed to last year. And largely that's due to one man, Tiger Woods. I got to walk with him all four rounds. And maybe in years to come, we're gonna look at his performance this week and say, hey, this is where Tiger Woods turned his career around. It has certainly been a memorable week for us from the weather to the galleries to the players involved this week at Cordoval Golf Course. Amanda, we are off to Georgia. We are off to the McGladry Classic in Sea Island. Our broadcast on the PGA Tour Network, Sirius XM, begins Thursday at noon Eastern time. 
Thanks, Fred. Well, like you said, next up we're at the McGladry Classic, so be sure to log on to PGATour.com on Wednesday for the preview.